Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we will talk about the latest updates from Starbase, SpaceX's latest launch, and other space stuff. SpaceX is all set to resume testing on Starship rockets at the South Texas launch site. After a break, yesterday night, Starship S-25 was rolled out from the high bay to the launch site. And this morning, it was lifted onto the test stand at suborbital pad A. Simultaneously, Starship S-24 was once again stacked on top of Booster 7. Last week, S-24 was destacked from the booster due to a potential ship QD issue. October is about to end, and we still don't see any promising signs of a static fire test of Booster 7. Will SpaceX still attempt its first ever orbital test flight of a Starship before year's end? I don't know. I mean, SpaceX has a lot to achieve before attempting a test flight. After the static fire of the booster, there will be post-static fire repairs to the pad, the launch mount, and the whole stage zero in general. Time may be running out for SpaceX but there is absolutely no need to rush. Any RUD to the launch tower or the launch mount will delay the Starship program for a few months as rightly said by Elon Musk. South Texas's Starbase is the only launch pad that is in use for Starship testing although two more launch sites are in construction. A new methane pump was installed at the orbital tank farm overnight. Now once again we have three pumps to fill those gigantic Starship propellant tanks. The next box to tick in the checklist is the wet dress rehearsal of the full-stack Starship. Road closure schedules are posted on the Cameron County website throughout the whole week from Monday till Saturday next week. It's about time to see some action at Starbase. Earlier today, SpaceX launched its 48th mission of the year. Falcon 9 launched another batch of 54 Starlink satellites into orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This was the 10th launch and landing for this Falcon 9 first stage booster. European Space Agency's new rocket Ariane 6's debut flight is now targeting quarter four of next year in 2023. During a press briefing on Wednesday, officials said, after an external review of the program, the maiden flight of Ariane 6 has now been delayed until late 2023. A prototype Ariane 6 is now on the pad at Kourou for testing. The current goal of the program is to complete both the upper stage and launch complex tests in the first quarter of 2023, according to the officials. Indian Space Research Organization is ready to launch OneWeb's India One mission on Sunday. 36 OneWeb satellites will launch on top of Indian-made launch vehicle Mark III rocket from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. This is first of the two launch contracts signed between OneWeb and ISRO and first dedicated commercial launch for this medium-lift launch vehicle. All the best to ISRO and OneWeb for their upcoming mission. Well, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the short update. If you did, please like the video. Goodbye, see you in the next video.